ओके सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशंस अल्फा x plus y plus z is equal to alpha minus 1 x plus alpha y plus z is equal to alpha minus 1 x plus y plus alpha z is equal to alpha minus 1 इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली कांस्टेंट मैट्रिक्स इज अल्फा minus 1 अल्फा minus 1 अल्फा minus 1 कांस्टेंट मैट्रिक्स कोएफिशिएंट मैट्रिक्स सॉरी वेरिएबल मैट्रिक्स इज x y z हां this matrix you observe coefficient matrix is alpha 1 1 1 alpha 1 1 1 alpha ok like this are there ok now this linear equation is having no solution like they are telling no solution means what you are going to understand first no solution means see rank of a should not be equal to rank of ad then there is no solution rank of a should not be equal to rank of ad then there is no solution first point second point no solution already they are mentioning second point See, this is having no solution, but at what value, whether two values or one value like they are asking. You see, if you observe carefully here, only two values they have given, minus 2 and 1, that's all. Minus 2, 1, minus 2, 1. That means, see, what you have to do, simply you substitute to 1 by 1 and check. That's all. Why? Because see, we are dealing with competitive examination. Competitive examination, we need not do uh, what we can say in descriptive type okay in descriptive type now what i do i will take, see answer is i know minus 2 that is why first i am taking 1 at 1 okay see first of all i am writing a a is equal to alpha 1 1 1 alpha 1 1 1 alpha okay this is a and uh, variable matrix x is equal to comma i am keeping here variable matrix x is equal to x y z x y z okay this is one thing and the constant matrix i am taking as d this is alpha minus 1 alpha minus 1 alpha minus 1 alpha minus 1 okay now i am writing augmented matrix also a d if you observe augmented matrix, the same you have to repeat this. Sir. Alpha 1 1, then alpha minus 1. 1 alpha 1, alpha minus 1. 1 1 alpha, alpha minus 1. Okay. See, these are the matrices, required matrices. Sir. Now, see, here, alpha value substitute. What I am doing, I know answer minus 2. 1 or minus 2 you have to take. First I will take 1. If 1 is not the answer, then you directly put minus 2. Why? Because you have to save the time. At alpha is equal to 1, what will happen? You see. 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. What is this? Sir? This is matrix here. Determinant here. One into zero minus one into zero plus one into zero. That means it's zero. See determinant A is zero, and even sub matrix also going to give zeros here. One 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 one. All are zero. Rank is one. Rank of A is equal to one. Okay. Ah. Rank of A is equal to one. Now. Go for AD. I am writing here AD. I want to save the time. Sir, space 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is also you have to see. At alpha is equal to 1, 1 minus 1, it is going to become 0. Then you keep all zeros here. 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, as usual, for determinant of AD, I am taking these three. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, if I take such that, 
What is the determinant of EAD? 1. If you take 0 minus 0. 0 minus 1 if you take 0 minus 0. 0 again plus 0. That means see 0 all zeros. Okay. All zeros have come. See. In A also all zeros have come. Again inside also if you go sub matrices also zeros will come. But here overall AD matrix zero has come. Determinant. Okay. We have not yet decided. Rank is not three. We know. Okay. If not equal to zero means rank is three. Not rank is one or two. But whether to become one we have to see inside also. If you see inside what will happen here. One zero. One zero. If I take this sub matrix top, see 0 minus 0. Okay? That means zero. Okay? Ah. See, even uh, anywhere you take 1, 0, 1, 0, we have taken already. 1, 1 if you take also 0 minus 0, sorry, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, okay, all are going to become zeros. That is a what you can say, rank A, T is also equal to 1. Okay, now you tell me here, if you take alpha 1, what will happen? See, I am writing, rank of A is equal to rank of A, D. But less than 3. Why? Because rank is not 3 here. Both ranks are 1. Less than 3. Less than 3 means infinite solutions. Okay? Infinite solution. But here what they have written? No solution. To become no solution, alpha should not be 1. Alpha should be minus 2. That's all. Okay? Save the time. Let us go for the next question.